Welcome back guys to another DC Comics Multiverse action fig review and this time around we're looking at the Batman v Superman Lex Luthor in his prison uniform. Now Lex Luthor is one of the characters from the Batman v Superman movie that I really didn't care enough about. I mean this is him in his prison uniform towards the end of the film but the reason I really picked this guy up is for that big doomsday torso that he comes with. But from what I can tell by just looking at the package the figure does have a great likeness to the actor Jesse Eisenberg so I could be surprised. Now Luthor comes in your standard window box packaging for the DC Comics Multiverse. You can see the logo up top and you got the Batman v Superman logo right there at the top left. You have a window view of Lex Luthor. You see the chains attached to him and his orange jumpsuit and you got the big torso of the new 52 Doomsday. And then you have a picture of the actor Jesse Eisenberg at the bottom left and you see Batman v Superman Lex Luthor collect and connect new 52 Doomsday. On one side of the box you have the same picture blown up a little bit bigger and you have a little bit of a bio where it says real name Alexander Luthor Jr. Base of Operations LexCorp, evil founder and controller of LexCorp, and creator of the world's first neural network based operating system. And at the back of this packaging, you can see the entire lineup needed to build this new 52 Doomsday. Go ahead and check out my reviews on the Armored Batman, Robin, and Supergirl, and the rest are on the way, so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out. All right, let's take this Lex Luthor in his prison suit outside of this box and let's see what he's all about. So here's Lex outside of his packaging. He stands at six and a quarter inches in height and for accessories, he comes with those cuffs and the chains that he is attached to, but they are removable, which is very cool. And he comes with the big torso of the new 52 Doomsday. Now let's take a closer look at this Lex Luthor. Now I think they did a decent enough job with the likeness to the actor that portrays Lex Luthor, Jesse Eisenberg. I mean, it kind of looks like him, but then it also kind of does not. But uh, it's not too bad with the paint app applications of that flesh tone all the way around and the a very nice smooth sculpt of his head you know for that bald dome of his and his eyebrows seem to be a little bit off maybe that's just the expression they're trying to portray maybe with one of his eyebrows being raised like in a cocky way now they did do a great job with the paint applications of his eyes you can see it's all done within the sculpt and I love how the green is nicely censored you got the sculpt of his big nose his cheeks his mouth his chin all nicely done nicely sculpted ears and then this leads all the way down to his jumpsuit now I see a lot of army building potential with this figure here this buck and mold I mean you can make a lot of inmates for Bell Reef Penitentiary you can see that's nicely applied on his back right there but you could pop the head off put other heads on I mean paint different skin colors I mean you could really make a big prison with a lot of inmates to fight Batman so that'll be pretty cool and now we get to the body mold of Lex Luthor and again this is just Lex Luthor in a prison uniform so there's really not much going on there is not a lot of plastic being used which is kind of a bummer that I have to pay the same price for this Luthor that I do for a Superman Doom or Batman the Dark Knight Returns from the same wave. I know they put the big hollow new 52 torso in there but it really doesn't make up for it and I still kind of feel ripped off. So there's not a lot of plastic being used here but it is a new character to add to the collection especially if you're a fan of Batman v Superman but they did do a good job with the sculpt work of his upper torso here. You can see some stitches around the V by his neck. Now above his nicely sculpted and stitched up pocket there you can see his prison ID which says 16 TK 421. They have some wrinkles sculpted in and again you see the bell re penitentiary which is very cleanly applied. I do appreciate that they gave us newly sculpted detail here with the wrinkles and everything by his shoulders or the sleeve of his uniform but it looks very weird. You have these narrow shoulders and then they fan out too much at the bottom. You do have the white of the undershirt sculpted in as well and it's painted nicely. Nice separation there but it just looks a little bit weird. Now Lex Luthor is not a muscular guy at least not yet and not the Jesse Eisenberg version but you can see they did a good job with the arms. It's not too muscular. No muscle tone whatsoever the flesh tone matches the same flesh tone of his head. His hand is nicely sculpted. You can see one with the open grip and then the other one with an open palm. Now you see this cool accessory that he has because this is inmate Luther. He does come with these uh, chains and the cuffs that are removable. You see they come right off. They're painted in kind of a flat silver. I wish they were a little bit shinier but it's not too bad. You have the cuffs also by his ankles and then you can slide the rest off. And don't forget to unplug these two pieces at the back so then you can easily slide the whole thing off. There you go. Now the mold of his legs we've seen before with some DC Universe classics figures like the Joker and the Riddler. But we do have some stitch work down his crotch here. You got some more wrinkles. The articulation which I'm going to get to is that you can see the same cut points as you saw in the DC Universe.
Universe Classic figures. I am not a fan of these big peg holes right here. You can see they are way too obvious. They make it look like a machine instead of an action figure. And you got a very noticeable one down here by his ankles as well. Other than that, the sculpt of everything is pretty standard from what we've seen before. I do like the shoes of his. You can see the beige painted at the top and then you have the white cleanly applied at the bottom. And he has some peg holes if you're having any trouble standing him up. Now for articulation, we can rotate his head all the way around and there's minimal movement going upward and there's a little bit going downward. So not too much in that department, but we do have a rotation at the shoulder. We do have a hinge that extends about that far up and he can go all the way down. Let's see, yep, he got a bicep swivel right under his sleeve. We do have a single jointed elbow with 90 degree range of motion and we only have a wrist swivel. There is no hinge articulation like we would see with other six inch figures. Now we have this very noticeable ab crunch which has limited range of motion going down and only a very minimal arch of his back. We do have a nice waist swivel. I do like these joints from the DC Universe Classics Bucks. You can see he can have lateral movement about that far. He can kick his leg about that high and he can go back a good amount. Check that out. We do have a mid thigh rotation, only a single jointed knee. And you can see right under the hem of his pants, he does have a hinge there for ankle movement, but it's limited very much so going upward and barely any going downward. And unfortunately there is zero ankle pivot on this figure. So there you have it guys, my video review of the DC Comics Multiverse Lex Luthor in his inmate uniform from the Batman v Superman movie. Now this isn't my favorite figure, it has a lot of flaws and I really wish I didn't have to pay the same amount as I did for other figures of this wave. But if you are a completionist, if you want to pick this up just to get the doomsday piece, I mean you definitely have to pick it up. But if you can get it at a lower price, that'll be the most ideal. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up and check out my channel for other reviews I've done. And I have so many things coming your way, so make sure you all like, subscribe, comment, and share. You know what to do. Peace.